All right. What's up, people? Oh, shit. I'm getting counted down by my producers. <laughs> multiple. <laughs> These are multiple beer cans of shit. So I wanted to talk about... I never did this. I didn't really want to. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do it. Dylan Mulvaney. If you know who Dylan Mulvaney is, you'll know that this is... Okay, this is a flamboyant gay man who has now, I would say, latched onto, I'm not going to say leached onto, I'm going to say latched onto the whole transgender. So this was a guy that basically, he went on the Wheel of Fortune and he was just like fucking like going ape shit. You know, like, <laughs> but guess what? They kept the camera on him. And that's, I think, kind of the point of what I want to talk about here. Because I have the utmost empathy for this guy. I really do. And he's a gay man, and that's what he is. And he's been confused. He's been confabulated into something that he's not. And and that's what's really fucking pissing me off is because Joe Rogan got it right. When Joe Rogan said, lay off this dude. Lay off this dude. And they came after Joe Rogan. The right did. Because there's cancel culture on both sides. So they came after Joe Rogan. Look, I'm going to say it. Leave Dylan Mul Mulvaney the fuck alone, dude. Really. The, the Bud Light thing. I mean, who cares? <laughs> who the fuck cares? Yeah, I mean, maybe some people are skipping above people in, in the fucking, like, <laughs> the oppression Olympics. Like, some dude skip dude in a line. <laughs> okay, fine. I don't care. I don't care. Neither does Joe Rogan. Most people that are really normal don't care. Dylan Mulvaney can go ahead and do whatever the fuck. I don't care. I don't have no hate for that person. As a matter of fact, I have a lot of sympathy because I think that this person now, and I'm trying to be, you know, gender neutral, this person, you know, this, that, and the third. I, I you know, I'm a nice guy until I'm not. <laughs> you feel me? But no. This person is, is, is dealing with a lot of fucking pushback. A lot of hate. Would you be happy if Dylan Mulvaney was dead tomorrow by suicide? Would you be happy about that? Because I wouldn't. I think that's a fun spirit. I think that's just somebody having fun. And if I think you, you know, if you have a problem with that, then what's wrong with you? Even Joe Rogan understands this. It's like, what's wrong with you, man? Dylan Mulvaney can be whoever the fuck he, she, it wants to be. I don't care. <laughs> did I misgender there? <laughs> no, I did all the genders. I did everything. I, I hope I did. I don't... No, I just... It's like, god damn, bro. We have to be... No, the fight is about children. About the transgender to children. That's the fight. The fight is not Dylan Mulvaney. That's not the fight. Peace and blessings to Dylan because I know that that person is getting a lot of hate, man. Just a lot of, not even hate like hate like you would see it, but if you could see it like on that other level but that most of y'all aren't on, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You'd be like, wow, the psychic fucking like just disease that's being thrown at this person. So I gotta I gotta push back against that and I gotta give peace and blessings. Because what the fuck are you trying to do? Is this person that much of a threat to you? This is a grown ass person just doing grown ass things. Yeah, oh yeah, she doesn't have tits. She can't wear a bra. I get it. <laughs> I understand. But hey man, it's like Pee Wee's Playhouse, man. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it 
motherfucking go. You don't have to be so fucking like serious about everything all the time. Let's save the seriousness for the fact that they're trying to, well, do a lot of other shit that's a lot more like insidious. Dylan Mulvaney's a clown. In a good and a bad way, you know? It's a good it's a good clown, you know? Hey, laugh at it. You know what I'm saying? Have fun. That's all he she it they them uh excuse me uh Z's are is doing. That's all, nobody cares. Nobody gives a fuck. You think people really care about about this shit? I don't even know. Maybe they would care more about this shit. Hey, man, I'm, I'm just going to say this. I'm, I'm just going to bottom line this. I support Dylan Mulvaney. I, I, I don't have a problem with he, him, her, they, them, it, it, what, what is he, I don't, I don't know. However, that person identifies, I don't have a problem with that. That's not a problem to me. Just keep your hands off kids. My kids are good, but keep your hands off everybody's kids. That's the problem. We have a problem with some <laughs> some gay guy that basically is flamboyant as all fuck, deciding that he needs to latch on to the fucking trans thing and pretend to be a woman for 365 days. Hey, man, you rickrolled us. You didn't rickroll me, but you rickrolled some people. You should, dude, if Dylan Mulvaney came out and did the Rick Roll video, <laughs> I'm never going to give you up, <laughs> I'm never going to let you down, I'm never going to run around and desert you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> dude, I'd feature that as my fucking homepage video, dude, because that would be the ultimate fucking shit. You don't got to hate on people, man. And as a matter of fact, hating on the wrong people is missing the goddamn point. And that's what I'm fucking saying. That's the topic of this fucking video at the bottom end of it. Think about how you've been manipulated into thinking things like this are important, whereas things other than that are important. Right? <laughs> Shit. I used to say think about it. I'm getting done with that almost. Whatever. Almost, this is a character in WWE. Oh, they they re-signed Logan Paul? Really? Oh, shit. Let me go look into that. Dirt sheets. Dirt sheets. 